All right, guys, this is where it gets very serious. We need to do the planning for tomorrow. All right. Welcome to the Guadeloupe Islands, a paradise for those who carve the trail of the open roads on the bicycle. With the promises of challenging climbs, unpredictable weather, and the warmth of the cycling friendly souls, our team have set our sights on a unique adventure. A ride that stretches from the eastern sunrise to the western sunset. A daring 166 km route with 3000 meters of elevation is the goal. To transform this challenge, strategic stops have been carefully created around this island to actually take time to enjoy this bike ride. Join me as we traverse the breathtaking landscape of the Guadeloupe Island through a one day bike ride. Plan, I'd say, is not to finish the ride on top of that climb because uh, we might still have some light. So we're gonna go down and we're gonna head to one of the most beautiful sunset place on the island. I need to be on the bike as much as possible uh, to be able to finish to that perfect sunset location. Sun just sets. We're gonna get to the, to the water. The, the water's supposed to be very hot, warm. Yum, you coming? Yum. I feel the water is warmer than Hawaii. That's my feeling. It's it's like a spa right now. What is this? Oh, but it's a jet ski. That's still a jet ski now. <laughs> what another brutal wake up. Oh, I you slept last night. Went to bed kind of late. Were you stressed or just? Yeah, I was just refining the route and all of these, the last little details. So after scouting most of the route yesterday, we realized there's a bunch of little tweaks that couldn't not have been made. Sometimes when you just look at Strava files, it's tough to make the perfect route when you don't come from the country. So thanks for the help of Tahina here. Um, she She's our guide here for today, and yesterday we managed to find out the best route. There's also a lot of construction. There's things yeah. that were available in the past that now are not available today for Charles Challenge. We might have some surprises. We have a proper tailwind all day. It's a bit raining right now. It's just little showers, but this this is what it is with the islands. It's the, the weather will be so changing. It might be raining at some point. It will stop. There will be the sun. Then the clouds, then rain, then sun. So we can't not really predict how the weather is going to behave here. But gotta be careful with all the corners and all the turns because it can be it can be sketchy. All right, so I thought I was gonna be the first cyclist around here, but it looks like Guadeloupians are more crazy than me in cycling. We saw like five cyclists already, and the sun's not even up. No road bike today? No, today we're going with uh, the big tires. We're going with the 40s on the gravel bike. And the reason for that is, even though it's going to be mostly paved, there's a lot of bumps, cracks, and the road terrain is very, very accidented. So the gravel bike would be a lot more comfortable here for that long ride. Charles is stressed and wants everything to go well. There's so many things out of our control, yeah. like uh, if attractions are closed or if the weather is not on our side. So I know Charles physically is ready, but there's so many other things that come into the challenge today. So that's what I'm worried about, like uh, unexpected things happening to us today. I have a full crew with me and I have to not disappoint them. I have some doubts here. And here I go with the first pedal strokes of this long day. Stressed, but excited at the same time. Thankful to have my beautiful girlfriend, Gabrielle, here with me to support this challenge. Weather was not on our side to start the ride, but it made for a beautiful moment. He was not in the best mood this morning things were out of his control so I, I was seeing his face he was kind of down but I hope it's gonna improve throughout the day beach we're at the beach it's 
very nice. There's already so many people. I'm I'm very impressed. It's 6.50 and there's like a hundred of people in the water already. So very impressive. All right, first hour is done. That was easy. That was fun. Now let's, let's go for a quick dip. <laughs> All right, so the whole point of, uh, of this challenge is I also experience the local, what the locals scene has to offer. You look so like you're, oh my God, your socks are so Yeah, socks are never gonna get back white. I feel like I should go in the ocean with them. All right. I feel so refreshing. Dude, the water is unbelievable. It's just so clean. This feels unreal. I don't feel like I'm doing a bike ride right now. I'm chasing the rainbow. That's my only motivation. The his smile is back. He looks in a good mood now. I know we haven't planned more beach stop, but we should add a beach stop for sure. Another one later down the road on the on the bus tire. I'm feeling good now. I gotta get back on the bike, and then we're gonna leave the main road, and we're gonna be on the not the islands, but the very twisty, jungly routes. The socks are now white again. Yes. I thought they were never gonna get back away. The shoes were already so wet, so it doesn't matter at this point. All right, so that was a good five minute stop, I'd say. See you guys on the island. There's a bike shop we need to stop by. I need wet lube. I then tackled the islands of Grand Bois. The roads were incredible, hilly, twisty. I was starting to feel so much better after this stop at the beach. And now the smile started to show up on my face. So we're going from island number one to island number two? Yeah, from uh, Grand Terre to Basse Terre. They're separated by a bridge. The sun now is really starting to hit. Now that I'm stopped, I start to feel the, the light rays hitting, hitting the skin. It's oh. eight in the morning, so we have plenty of time till sunset so far. Island number one is done. Feels good, I think we smashed it under two hours. That's very good. And now we're heading over to one of my dream to actually do on a bike ride. You think we can get into that veil drum? That'll be fun. Can we do it? Right. Let's go talk to the man in charge. Bonjour, Rodolphe. On peut permettre à d'autres personnes de pouvoir développer l'activité sur le tourisme ici. Très bonne idée. Et ensuite, nous avons la piste de 333 mètres. Parlant de la piste, est-ce que je peux aller faire quelques tours? Bien sûr. Super. Let's go, let's go test out the Velodrome. I was absolutely delighted to hop on the velodrome for a few laps. We got so lucky here. Yeah. I never thought this would be possible to ride on the velodrome on the entrance ride. The cement is still a bit wet, so I don't want to risk it, go too high and have the front wheel to slip. 
Rudolph then challenged me to do one all out sprint on the track and time my lap. Let's see how it goes. seconds I think he looked like he was going fast <laughs> I thought I did good but Rudolf did not Wait seconds. Yes, absolutely. In my time? Plus aero? In the style of pedalage. Okay. You were too far away, there are too many parasites. Yes. When you have to do the movement, it's like there's a lack of efficiency in the movement. Moi, il me reste 100 km à m'arrêter là. Mais non, un tour. Ok, un autre tour. Alors, mieux. Un tour. Un tour, on fait mieux, on fait mieux. Et pense, il y a des moments pour venir respirer. Mieux. Un tour. 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 Et lâche, et lâche le mouvement. Laisse la puissance. Moi, le jeu, tu auras tout le jeu. <rire> ok, on va te faire plaisir. Let's go, show! I was not expecting to do two all out laps on the velodrome coming here, but thanks, Rudolf, for helping me push my limits. Ça filait plus vite, mais sûrement le temps doit être un peu moins vite. Ouais. Parce que je suis explosé. Merci pour les conseils. On passe ça en montant les deux cols. He's making fun of me, this guy. And now we have 100 kilometers left. 2,000 meters of elation left today. Ouch. That's gonna hurt. We're not done at the center. We have something else waiting for us. Let's go. So I bet this is the first time you see some velodrome laps on a gravel bike on an endurance ride. But the fun is not over. We have a beautiful playground right here. I'm so glad that I actually took the time on this long endurance ride to have fun on the BMX track. You're not, you're not supposed to have this kind of fun on a gravel bike. All right, so that BMX track was a lot of fun, but we do have a lot more to go, so I think I should get going. All right, it's been a few kilometers since I've left the Villageum and I may be regretting my sprint choice. My legs feel heavy and there's still so much to go. It's very hot, very humid. We're almost wishing for rain, but I shouldn't say that. Exactly, Gabrielle, you should not have wished for rain because it's exactly what I got going the other way around while the full crew got to enjoy this amazing local dinner. I just took a shower, another one. Uh, you guys got caught by the rain? Nope. Oh, trench wet for like two minutes and then the sun's back. So this is my, it's going to be my fifth exact bar. I'm trying to stay on top of the carbs here. Sorry, it's getting hard to eat, but I just need to force it. So next stop is this uh, famous cassava from the island here. Looking forward to eat that local food here and uh, experience what the locals have to offer as well. Now it's time to fuel on some local energy. We're gonna visit the way they're making these and it's a full-on artisanal process. Everything is done by hand. I'm very curious about the taste and about the energy that it's gonna bring me. We have a climb starting at five kilometers. 
Cocoa. All right, come look at this. <laughs> we want your feedback. Is it gonna give you a lot of energy? I think so. Yeah, I think the taste is very Caribbean. Okay. You can definitely taste the cocoa. It's so special. I've never had something like this. <laughs> but it's fun. Oh. Mm. There's like cinnamon or something. Yeah, the cinnamon. That's all I'm gonna fuel up for the rest of, uh, not for the rest of the day, that's for sure. <laughs> until lunch. Until lunch. Now the heat starts to make an impact on my body. I'm not looking forward to that 20% gradient that we're gonna get, get for real. This was a good part. We see where it's a bit more on the orange. This is very flavor, flavorful. I highly recommend to everyone to try this out. All right, let's go. See you later. That's the first 20% part. There's six of those. All right, we're getting to the steeper airpins. This time was definitely the first big challenge of the ride. And in terms of difficulty, it can surely be compared to some of the most famous climbs in Europe. Good thing I had the gravel bike tires on this 30% wet incline, otherwise I would have needed to walk. Hi man, this is brutal. I cannot stand up because it's... The ground is wet, so I have to rely on group sitting power. Still have 200 meters of climbing to do, but I'm gonna do it. All right, so we're not at the top yet, but this is the top for the camera crew. Uh, we don't have the authorization to film out there as it's a national park, but even though we're filming a movie here, this is not gonna stop me from going all the way to the top because I can, I'm on a bicycle. So if you guys are around, don't hesitate to make the whole way up. The air is so dense with humidity that I know. it's hard to breathe. I feel it's harder than altitude in Hawaii. The humidity is like so, Gripping. like the air is so heavy. It's gripping you, yeah. That it's hard to intake all of it, but see you later. Watch the... yeah. That's why I have a gravel bike. You see how <laughs> broad key this is. It's not technical, but it's just way more comfortable here. I'm starting to be a bit worried. Charles is supposed to be down by now. And I like I don't have any more network. I'm trying to find him, but um, I cannot see where he is and more time than expected i i really hope he didn't fall because of the the fact that the ground is wet like that would ruin the whole uh rest of the challenge <sighs> 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 I'm stressed. I hope they are not mean to him because they saw him yesterday and um, they didn't give us access. So I hope they he doesn't run into any kind of trouble. That would be like extra bad. Like we're not filming, so we're doing what we should be doing. So I hope they're nice with him and that he doesn't have any issue uh, going up top. But now he should be down. I didn't have network, so I couldn't check on my phone. Yeah, there was another kicker I did not see on the climb, and I took a selfie up top. I also have a surprise for you. 
Yeah, what's that? And now we're gonna go at the Black Sand Beach and we're gonna eat our sandwiches there. So I could swim again? Probably, yes. All right, let's go for a dip. I'm already yes, super very, uh, uh, dirty. dirty and wet, but I'd rather have uh, water from the ocean rather than water from the rain. Perfect, let's do this. All right, see you later. <laughs> unreal. Look where we're taking a break. I'm speechless right now. The ride is fun. It's challenging. The environment and the terrain just keep changing. We are on schedule in terms of timing and uh, after that we're gonna tackle the last climb of the day uh, which is going to be like a two-part climb. Uh, it's going to be long, it's going to be difficult but I'm sure jumping in the ocean will help out cooling my body and making sure that I'm ready for that last effort of the day. So I'm going along for a dip. The crew don't want to join. That's all right. I'm looking at the sky, see the spark and singing What? I've been waiting for a sign. Good, so now, time to get back on the saddle and do that last big climb. I'm not touching my butthole, I'm just trying to get the, the water out of the chamois. <laughs> Our guide Taina then proposed a little detour for a route. According to her, it was totally worth it. Since we're living the full local experience, instead of drinking Coke for carbs, we got a local drink, it's called L'Ordinaire. And with that, we're having avocados. And to be honest, I've ate avocados from Mexico in Texas. And these are the juiciest avocados I ever had. And then the group and I had some miscommunication on the new route I had to follow. At this point, it was the warmest moment of the day. I was burning under the sun, climbing at low speeds. My mood was definitely affected having to head back down this long climb I've just completed. I think Charles is kind of pissed because uh, we didn't tell him that we might want to go on the uh, furthermost road that uh, you know you can see the Le Saint, which is a beautiful, beautiful view, beautiful scenery. Uh, so he went the other way around. Uh, climbing up 200 meters, he said, and he's kind of pissed because uh, he climbed those 200 meters for nothing. But I guess we'll catch up and uh, see uh, where this leads. So the team was not clear on the indication and I I went up for so long and then I had to come back down to meet them. Bye. Oh. At this point, the crew tried to give me more indication on where to go and what to do, but my mind was not there. I was completely pissed off, so I decided to not listen to them and kept going. Is that the waterfall? Yeah, and there's a, a spot there to go take a swim if you want. Alright, let's go check that out. I need a, I need a cool down. And this stop was exactly what I needed to lift up the mood. Oh. Dude, I was, I was cooking on that climb on the main road. There was no shades, no clouds. 
and just going like 10 kilometers, an hour, five kilometers an hour, just grinding my way up. The sun was hitting so hard and now it just feels just like heaven. get back in there and not on the bike but I have a climb to finish and time is going up so now it's just a matter of grinding and looking at the elevation from what's around I saw a lot of yellow and red gradient up there so yeah it's 2 p.m. then I have like three hours it's uh, 20 kilometers maybe 700 meter more I can maybe do that in an hour and a half and then another half hour to get down What do you want for snacks? I want to finish this climb. <laughs> That's not a snack. What do you want? Uh, I want you guys a snack tonight. La volcano. <laughs> This waffle are a lifesaver. Very red and very yellow, which means it sucks and it's a bad time. Okay, a plus. Mental good, c'est qu'il disait. Mental good, mental good. Like it, it's just a fucking stinger. It's like the resting part is in like 10 percent, and the steep part right now is 18 percent, and there's no rest. Let's go 230 meters. Is it the end? Yeah. Is this the end? We just reached where this is the top of where the car can go, but it's not the top of the climb. So at this point, we need to do a team team caucus team meeting came so far I cannot stop here probably my tent today and just like that it's gone unfortunately the crew can't come with me but I have a mission to accomplish and I'm gonna reach the Benjon let's do it Wow, it's beautiful here. I love climbing in the jungle. Let's go. 1K, 100 meter. That is a lot of elevation per kilometer. 
And then I needed to distract my mind from the pain I was suffering. So that's when I started to entertain myself. That was like a hammer to the nuts. That is like a drill to the tibia. No, that was like a hitting your pinky toe on the coffee table. That's like, that's like a chainsaw to the nuts. Scissors to your ball sack. <laughs> Let's go! Votre destination se trouvera sur la gauche. Let's go! You're not supposed to do this on a bike ride. All right, guys, I'm back from the Benjon. It's a shame that the rest of the crew couldn't come and enjoy this beautiful place, but I feel that it's hands down the best surprise, treat, name it what you want. It's the best way to finish up a climb. It's something I've never done before, and I'm looking forward to do this climb again because it's, uh, uh, I'm speechless here. Uh, I highly recommend any one of you guys to come and enjoy the bath enjoy the swim right after this big effort especially here today when it's hot it's humid and uh just trying to keep myself cold and refreshing so now let's smash the descent I couldn't believe how my body was feeling great. My mind was there, I was happy, I was stoked. I was just in love with life at this moment. I'm glad I've done all the stops I did, but there was one more that was about to top everything. Dude, the sunset, man! Yeah! But then, I got hit by every cyclist's worst nightmare. What's going on, Charles? Got 1% battery on the GPS! One percent. Yeah, dog, you got this. Yes! One percent! Let's go! So now I just need to ride with this now. Why, Jubli? Aïe, mais je viens de me réveiller à un pour cent que j'avais ma batterie. Ah, reste pas gros, let's go!
It's actually incredible how the body and the mind can lift each other. Starting the ride, I was stressed down, not confident about the day. But the more distance I covered, the more stops I truly enjoyed. That's where the mood lift up to new heights never reached before. The local culture of Guadeloupe Islands really elevate this adventure. From the scenery, the food, the people, you could really tell that people living on these islands are all true cycling fans. All the sacrifice, time, energy for this bike ride was totally worth it for the experience that will make me a life-lasting memory. All right, what an adventure this day was. I'm filled with joy. I'm filled with happiness. Can't finish a ride better than here at sunset, at Le Fall, where all the locals are actually coming, jumping, cliff jumping, having fun. And yeah, I'm blessed to be doing what I love. And massive thanks to Tourism Guadeloupe. So if you guys are looking for anywhere to travel in the world right now, I highly suggest to come to Guadeloupe for cycling. All the locals are super kind and you'll have a good time. The roads are amazing. Mental good! C'est qu'est-ce que c'est? Ouais! Mental good! Mental good!